You've seen the fights behind the scenes at many of your favorite reality shows, but nothing compares to the fights at the heart of the contender, the new NBC program entering the primetime ring tonight. Take a look. The contender is about the lives, loves, hopes, dreams, and fears of 16 heroes as they battle it out in a quest to become a champion. They come from across America, each with a different story to tell. Some heroic... In this corner, Sylvester Stallone and Ray Leonard. Welcome, guys. Good to Thanks. see you. This slide looks like you've been boxing. You're all... Oh, <laughs> you're trying to keep you're up all... with the young blood over here. You're all out here. Look well, at you. you know, it's... Uh... It's up, it's up to keep up these boys. Small. You know, I, I, watching the trailers for this show and the human drama, it obviously makes you think about the Rocky yeah, series. Right. Is that what attracted you to it? It, uh, it is. Uh, the human drama. Uh, boxers are boxers. I mean, if you want to see great fighting, you see ESPN, Showtime, HBO. But stories behind the men is what has always attracted me. And that's what this show is about. And Sugar Ray, this show is getting some great reviews. This morning's New York Times says boxing still has a fiercely loyal following. The contender uh, the series does a thorough and at times riveting job of reminding people why. Do we lose sight that these are human beings with emotions and families? Is that what this, this series is about? Well, America has a chance to see what these boxers are all about. And it reminds me of when I was a young man, the fact that after the Olympic gold medal, I turned professional, not because I wanted to, but because I had to, to pay the bills and to help my parents. And these boxers are doing the same thing, these young men. Uh, there's a million dollar prize attached mm -hmm. to this, but, but is, is this about the money or are these guys just doing what they'd be doing anyway? And there's something more... The money is the obvious carrot, okay, the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. But what gets them there, what really engages us, is what drives you. What is be, what, because there's a point where the pain... And, and, and the dedication eventually will wear out unless you're emotionally driven by some bigger goal. And that usually is to provide. And that these are all middleweight fighters. Mm -hmm. yes. They're going to win not only based on winning the bouts, but also the public. The audience is going to be involved here mm -hmm. as well. Without question. In fact, that uh, again, you know, the exposure these young men will receive is, in, is amazing. But also, the public will have a chance to see these young men and how the determination, their fortitude. How did you find these 16 young men? Well, you know, we went out into the field, and we went all over the United States, and actually my brother was involved, a man named Prentice Bird, and they, they saw 2,000 different individuals, some of them, like, so far unrealistic, and then there's some that are really extraordinary uh, fighters, like, half these men here are world-ranked, so they're not amateurs, they've either been there or been dis uh, disenchanted with the way the system has been, and finally they're getting an opportunity. Fair to say this show breaks the mold of reality TV, the fact that it goes beyond just the contender in this case, but, but his family becomes a part of it as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, the family is the backbone. It's the foundation, and that's what keeps these guys we, driven. We call it the Adrian factor. You know what I mean? It's, like, it's, the, it's, the, it's the woman behind the throne there. Since this series wrapped up, and I've got to ask you about it, one of the contestants, uh, Najee Turpin, has mm -hmm. you know, tragically committed suicide. How will you deal with that? And, and uh, we don't know why. Well, we were all very proud of Najee because he really typified the Philadelphia Rocky kind of spirit because that's where he is from. So we decided not to do anything uh, to the show, just leave it as it is and, and show the way he was, the way he performed, and not try to capitalize or diminish or alter his actual uh, 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 contributions to himself and to his family, which will be seen on the show. Right, this competition, as we know, gets pretty heated at certain points. Tr uh, boxers known for talking a lot of trash. I want to show a clip from the premiere where Ahmed <laughs> and Ishe are challenging oh, each other. Was, Let's watch it. We'll continue. Feisty. Keep touching him, brother. I was standing upstairs watching my spar and... Mm, get some. I was telling him I would love to knock him off quick. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Kill him psychologically. I beat you ass. You just come on, man. Don't worry about me. Worry about that thunder you dealing with. That jab. Uh, are, are people who don't follow boxing, who aren't boxing fans, going to enjoy this show? That's yes. the whole point, I think. Without question. Without question. Yeah, you know, you, you have an, an, an emotional connection. Like, you know, with Ray, in fact, he's an incredible six time world champion. You knew a lot about him. You were emotionally connected even to his private life and, and what drove him. And, and we're hopefully, we, and I think we have been very successful in uh, connecting the people with the everyday emotions. Like, no, I know that man. I live next door to right. him. I could be my brother. And Ray, sugar Ray rolled off my tongue a moment ago. Why'd you drop the sugar? No, I said the sugar. You know, my wife calls me sugar. <laughs> my wife calls me sugar too, but I can't box. <laughs> Actually, he calls sweet and low. 
We call them, we call them equal. Equal. This is that trash talking I was talking uh, yeah. about, fellas. Thanks. So that's just a long Ray Leonard. The show's getting great reviews. Thanks Best of luck. Thanks Looking forward to it. The Contender premieres tonight, 9.30, 8.30 Central, right here on NBC. After this special, The Contender moves to its regular time, Sundays at 8, 7 Central.